Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and this video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you today is how to connect your professional condenser microphone to your DSLR or mirrorless camera. It's really easy to do. There's some equipment you need and there's some things you need to know first about your camera before you can even start this. The first thing is your camera needs to have a mic input. If it hasn't got one then you might as well close this video clip because it'll be pointless. Secondly, you'll need to make some changes to your preamp on your uh, camera. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to show you an example of my one, which is I've got a Canon EOS M50, and I'll show you how to make the adjustments there. It's really important you do this first before you connect any of the equipment up. The equipment that I'm going to show you today is mine, which means I've purchased it, and I haven't been sponsored by companies. I'm doing this just to help others connect a condenser microphone so if you're doing interviews and you want uh, something a little bit more better in quality this is the way you could go about doing it so you need a microphone this is an Aston microphone that I use for my wick and rant animations you might want to search out on uh, YouTube they're quite funny I think anyway um, whatever condenser microphone you have please if it works for you great just use it there's a couple of cables you need so you'll need this cable, which is uh, two 6.3 millimeter mono cable to a 3.5 millimeter stereo. So there's a black stripe on each one of these big ones and two little black stripes on the small one. The second cable, which is very important, is your XLR cable. So you'll need this and it will connect between your microphone and the mixer. Talking of which, you'll need a mixer. So. Um, I did a lot of research before going out and buying a mixer because I didn't want the best, the most expensive, and I didn't want the cheapest, so I settled for something in the middle. Equally, what's important is that any mixer you buy to make this work is that you'll need an XLR input and phantom power. They're the two key things. The winner for me on this particular mixer, and again, if you might find it's not necessarily for you, is that it's got more little lights on the level for the meter, so I can see whether I'm clipping or not and make relevant adjustments to the gain knobs, which I'll go through. Right, without further ado, I'll go and show you how to set up and, importantly, make that change in the camera first. The first thing you need to do is we need to change the sound recording to manual. Apologies that I'm using my phone to record this, uh, but it's the only other thing I've got because I'm changing my camera now. So we click on that, click on manual, change from auto to manual, and that should enable you to use an external microphone. The most important one is this one, the record level. So we need to bring that all the way down, and on mine I think I can just move it over. Yeah, that's it. And then click OK. Get to it. There we go. OK, and that's put it up there. Um, you probably want to put it up by one digit and then click OK because you don't want it all the way down. But it's important that you have that at that level because if you had it all the way up, it could potentially damage your camera. So and that's what's really important. Next, turn the power on on your mixer. Make sure that the phantom power is set to on as well. And that's really important to make it work. Connect your XLR cable into the port. Again, making sure the gain is not too high because we can adjust that later on. And then just uh, slot it in there uh, like so, being very careful to put it in. Take the two mono quarter inch jacks, 6.3 mils, uh, and place them in the output of your mixer. Once you've done that, you need to take the small 3.5 jack and put that into the side of your camera. Once connected to your camera, you should see something a little bit like that. So you've got the camera connected to the mixer and the XLR to the microphone. And on that point, I'm going to show you how to make all the adjustments. Now we've got everything set up, the next thing to do is to make the adjustments to the camera levels, which I'll go through now. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that all our knobs are on zero. Um, this is just for safety. And then start to bring the main level up to about, I'd say halfway, and then bring up the gain to about 11 o'clock on the dial, so pointing that way. Uh, and then if we bring up our main output 
you'll see, there we go, it's starting to, and I've, I've only got it less than 11 o'clock on the dial to where it's got the green clipping thing. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it up to the camera a bit closer. And here you can just make uh, adjustments to make sure you're not clipping, but you're getting the great sound. What's key is that if you look at the output level here, it's slightly different to the output level there. It's, it's uh, lower in regards to its decibel. It's not a problem with either the camera or the um, mixer. It is just how it is. Um, and that's it. That's how you configure it. It's very simple, very straightforward. Any questions, please leave them uh, below in the comment section. And please subscribe. Thanks. Thank you very much for watching this video. Cheers. Bye.